the first time I met Eddie Murphy, Johnny Gill, and Sugar Ray Leonard. It was July 4th, 1996. I'm in LA, and when my homeboy said, hey man, Johnny Gill having a, uh, a barbecue, you wanna come through? I said, hell yeah, Johnny Gill, you know, he's from DC, I'm from DC, it's a homeboy, I'm, I'm, I'm down for that, let's go. So he picks me up and we drive. We drive into a place called Encino. It's a neighborhood, one of the nicest neighborhood in Los Angeles. So we pull up there, we pull up to what's called a cul-de-sac. It's a kind of circle. We pull up in there, I ain't seen nothing but Mercedes, Porsches, Bentleys, BMWs and shit. And my boy was in a hoopty. So I was like, nigga, let's park like two blocks down. I don't care, we can Uber our way back up. Uber wasn't around there. <laughs> but we can hitchhike our way back to the house. So we, we, walk, we park and we go to the house and I go to knock on the door. And first of all, he had two front doors. Anybody with two damn front doors, you know they balling, okay? Most people can't have a nice front door, one front door. He had two big ass nice front doors. I said, damn, so we hit the door, bam, bam, bam. All of a sudden the door opens up and a dude pop out, open the door, I said, what's up? And he was a short, dark skinned dude, but he had like little sunglasses, dark glasses, it looked like LeVar Burton from Star Trek and some shit, the shit was wrapped around and some twisted in his hair and shit. But he looked familiar, but I didn't know who he was. Hey, yo, come on in fellas. I was like, what do you think? this dude looked familiar, but I didn't know who he was, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what this is. So he's walking us through the house, it had marble floors, nice furniture, he had a big old white piano and shit. Damn, Johnny living good, he's doing his thing. So we were walking back, I can look through the back window, I saw a swimming pool and some kids and a barbecue grill and fine ass women. I was like, oh Lord. He said, no, nah, we're going down here. You know, we gotta go down this way. So he took us to like the little, you know, man cave he had down there. So and I still don't know who this dude is. I'm like, all right, so we're walking down there. We're going to the man cave, and there's everybody there. Johnny Gill, Sugar Ray Leonard was there. I think it was Charlie Murphy was there. Some other people were there playing pool and stuff. And playing, um, they had the video game, the arcade. Not the little handheld one, the big-ass game. And like, Miss Pac-Man is a big-ass game. And um, I was like, damn, all right, cool. So my boy started to introduce me. He said, yo, this is my man here from D.C. He, you know, he's a comedian. And as he said that, I looked to my left, which the dude who brought us in there with the little twist and the little glasses, took the glasses off, and I realized, oh snap, that's Sugar Ray, I mean, that's uh, Eddie Murphy. Oh, damn, Eddie Murphy. And just then, Eddie looked at me and said, oh yeah, yeah, you the BET guy. Now, BET guy? Hold on now, I just, I just made a movie. I've been on Def Jam, come on, play. You picked the lowest thing I did at the time to me, BET? I did BET four or five times. I did Def Jam a couple of times, man. I did a movie. I just, I just started filming a movie. Come on, man. So my instinct to be funny would turn to look at him and say, ah, yeah, I get that. You the best defense guy. I'm going to pick his worst thing. Best defense was a movie like his second movie was terrible. I said, you the best defense guy. And let me tell you, when I said that, that whole room got quiet. And they all looked at me like, nigga, who is you? And you ever seen a commercial at, at, at Southwest? Oh, 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 you want to get away? I was like, oh, damn, I done fucked up trying to be funny. I looked over at Eddie, Eddie looked at me, he looked at everybody, looked at Eddie. All of a sudden, everybody started, Eddie started chuckling. <laughs> and everybody started laughing. <laughs> and I started laughing. <laughs> you know, uncomfortable laugh. <laughs> um, when the hot dogs at? I need to go out and get some hot dogs and shit. <laughs> so I went to get the hell out of the house. Everybody looked at me like I was crazy as hell. I was like, damn. That was some embarrassing shit. I like, hell no. Nah. But I wound up going on, um, on tour with uh, Johnny Gill sometimes, so it was all laughs and fun with that situation. She mentioned Sugar Leonard while I'm talking. He's a cool dude, but uh, I would see Eddie Murphy around the, you know, around the comedy club circuit, and I'd say, hey, what's up to him? Sometimes I'd just say, hey, what's up, man? But I always wondered, did you remember that time? I said, you the best defense guy. I always wondered, did you remember that? Maybe you didn't, but mm. <laughs> I'm Pierre, and that's the first time I met Eddie Murphy, hey, Johnny Gill, and Sugar Ray Leonard. And that's my story.